Okay, I'm at the Andersonville National Historic Site in Andersonville, Georgia. This was a uh, infamous POW camp during the Civil War, in which the Confederates had a big giant stockade all the way around this dip in the oh, this drop down there. Anyway, there was a section of the recreating of the stockade. I think it said at one time there were like 35,000 guys here jammed in. They didn't have buildings. They basically had to carve in at the side of those hills and uh, sleep in little caves and what have you. A lot of brutal conditions here. And uh, I think, I believe I read that the commander of this place was the only person hung for war crimes for in the Civil War. Uh, you can, I've been here a couple other times years ago, 10 years ago or so. Ain't much changed, but I'll give you a little rundown when I get down here, what else is going on around here. Okay, you can see there's a stockade, so they had that going around the area. The prisoners basically, like I said, lived in the side or on the sides of these these two hills here in this creek. Their source of drinking. But because of the stockade walls impeded the flow of the water, um, they could not get water and it was all full of bacteria because the guards and their quarters were upstream. That is that way. Can't, oh yeah. Oh no, 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 no. It'd be that way. And uh, so anyway, I do did read this. Maybe. A Providence Spring, and what happened was during a spring burst forward and. Uh, Started, they started getting fresh water instead of this putrid crap out of the stream down there. And anyway, uh, man, I'm gonna 35,000 guys. You see these poles going up there? That's the, basically that's the uh, the border. You got two different walls, I guess. We'll go up there to that, that, that pylon looking thing there and then go that way over to that pylon there and up there behind here because this is another corner up here and uh, another section would be over there so uh, I can't, cannot imagine I cannot imagine there's a really good movie I watched I think it is called Andersonville and uh, it gives a lot more insight into what happened here so continue this little drive about tour This is from the other side. You can see the spring over there. Because there's uh, venomous stakes out there. So, Johnny Bob and Sir Rubber Dude, we're going to stay in the vehicle. See, it goes up the hill here. And uh, let's go up the hill. Okay, there's another part of this uh, site that's up here. It's very impressive. Is very impressed, very solemn too. This is the National Cemetery at Andersonville. I don't know how many graves are out here. They're really, uh, the markers are really, really close together. Uh, you, there's a registry back in the uh, museum where you can look up a name if you know it, but I'm going to show you some of these, these headstones here is so close together is because they would line these guys up in trenches and put them shoulder to shoulder and I don't think don't know if they unburied them and found out who they were or uh, or 
a sign there saying something about it. But anyway. You see. On both sides. There are all kinds of them. I mean, there's a lot of these big memorials are from uh, states. Like this one here is from New York. Put up by New York. And, uh, there's a driving tour you can take and stop and read and blah, blah, blah. So there's some. Look at this. Okay. Anybody can be buried here if you're a veteran or a spouse of a veteran. So you can see these are spaced much farther apart. And whether they're in their cremated urns or caskets, I have no idea. But these are relatively new here. You can see that. I haven't decided which one I want to be buried in. There ain't nobody going to come visit me anyway, so might as well pick a nice one and just the opposite over there I guarantee you those people that are marked on those stones are not in that particular spot see somebody's getting interred they're already dead yeah they're probably already dead recently There's a nice memorial there. There's Indiana's. There's another one of these up in there, uh, Chickamauga, Georgia, which is north, totally way up northwest near Dalton, Georgia. And, uh, you're not in her, so I won't. Yeah, we spent the money to do this one here. Let's see here. I don't see any. I don't see a state on it. Maybe it's just a memorial, memorial thing. And here comes your gratuitous grass cutting dude. I'm gonna let him go so I can like sit here and babble and take a nice shot of all these. And got that government job going off. Here's the Pennsylvania Memorial. And over here, oh, there's Minnesota's Memorial. Yeah, you can see these are the original graves, I guess. Ohio, unknown U.S. soldier, unknown U.S. soldier, unknown U.S. old soldier. Huh. A couple of bigger ones out there. I guess you had to beat somebody to get a big one. Uh, look at all these unknown. There's another guy, he, he, U.S. soldier. Unknown, 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 unknown. Oh my God almighty. Again, these one these ones close together would have been the, the trench deaths. Line them up, fill in the hole. That sucks. Turn around. Go somewhere else. See the vastness of this. Guarantee you all of these guys here died during uh, incarceration here at Andersonville. All right. Oh, there's a musician. Joseph Wyatt, he's a musician. Pennsylvania, New York, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, oh, ice magnolia trees growing, Ohio, Massachusetts, and these are modern day veterans, this guy here, Air Force, Air Force, my father's interred at the National Cemetery near uh, Oak Hill, Florida. This is there a couple of years ago. All right. Lest you be forgotten. All right. All right, well, that wraps it up here. Because here comes the grass cutting guy around here, padding the budget. 
and uh, I'm gonna plug in a GPS cord to go somewhere else. So come on down if you're near here. Uh, I showed you earlier, I went to Plains, and I didn't get to see Jimmy Carter, but I saw Plains, you know, falling. You talk about a waste of money. This guy's just riding around on that thing, just blowing the leaves off the side of the road. Like, come on, it's windy out today. Jeez, that's in the lyric. Unbelievable. What a waste of money. Could have prisoners out here. Not prisoners of war, prisoners of, 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 of incarceration units. Anyway. Okay, let's do this. Bye.